Hi everyone, and welcome to, back to my channel. This is Ishan Turkier, and today we're gonna discuss just a few other things. I'm not really sure what I want to say on this one, so it might just be a ramble. Uh, I hope you stick around for it, and enjoy the art. Thanks! So by now we are all quite aware of what is happening in the world. So I will give a little bit of an update on my situation right now. The last day of February was my last day of work at my second job. I decided to quit it so I could focus a little more on this channel and get some other supplies to help me with my recordings and whatnot. And then the world destructed. At this point, um, my second job, which I had quit, um, the place where it was, was a mall. And malls are closed right now until whenever. My second, uh, my full-time job, well, um, I got laid off from that two days ago. I have been trying to file for unemployment on three separate devices and have had no luck since then. And I did get a job interview set up for today just for the uh, shelter in place order to come down. Now I do still have the job interview and that's because the place where I'm interviewing makes a product that is specific for hospitals and the military so it does fall under an essential place to be open so hopefully everybody wish me luck that I'll have a job continuing forward for the duration of the destruction of the world. Thanks everyone. And then after this, I guess I'll talk a little bit about the art. So the title of this piece is called Ocean in a Cup, and the title and the inspiration for this piece came from a song by a group called The Monkees. If you haven't heard of them, I highly recommend them. They're, I kind of want to say they're like a boy band version of the Beatles, only a little more fun, really. They, um, the song is called can't tie a Mustang down. And there's a lot of lines in there that when I hear them, I think they make for really, really good art inspiration. So this piece is based on this song and I've had it in mind for a while to do. And I just, life being what it is, time being what it is, and having none of either is just really hard to get stuff done. So right now, this piece that I've done is probably one of my favorite watercolors, even though I did have some, some trouble with it. Every now and then, because I, I was trying to get it done and I wasn't quite letting it dry all the way. So there's like a little image of a, there's like a little squid in there that kept bleeding out into the uh, water portion of the picture. So I had to keep trying to fix that. It turned out looking a little odd, but it's still really cute and I like it. It just does really go to show me though that I still have 
so much more to learn with watercolor, but I think I'm doing pretty good with it since I've literally only been doing it for a year. Uh, so I'd really love to hear what you think about it and, uh, we'll, uh, start wrapping up this video. Thanks.
hope you all enjoyed watching me create Ocean in a Cup as much as I enjoyed creating Ocean in a Cup. And I'm hoping to see you all here next time. And just keep on keeping on, everybody. I guess we will see you in the future. Have a great day.